Hey everyone, how are you? I am just coming to you really quick with a natural hair and makeup routine. Um, you know, just a quick one, natural looking, <laughs> natural hair. Um, so uh, I hope your day's going well. I've already concealed and done my brows, my little two minute brows, really one minute and some seconds brown. And you know, like I said, concealed and stuff. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Let's just get right into it. Like why waste time? This is the Fenty uh, Pro Filter. I need to finish this up. I wish I have so much of it left. Um, that's why I didn't wanna buy that damn um, Morphe because I already had so much. These are my little $3.99 sponges that I bought. This one I don't like too much. The rest of them were nice, but I don't know if I like this one very much. But anyway, we're going to work with it today. So anywho, how are you guys doing? This is a get ready with me in the morning. Now, as you can see, my hair is in Bantu knots. They are not the most glamorous things to where um, you can certainly make them glamorous, but I honestly just kind of throw them up, no rhyme, no reason. Um, I The only thing I do is I put a little bit of whatever cream moisturizer um, that I have around with a little bit of oil. I detangle, which my hair is pretty much detangled all day um, because it's in a stretched state. So... You know, I pretty much just detangle it and then um, Bantu. And there's like a million Bantu knot videos on YouTube. So you can find one to show you how to, to do a Bantu knot, okay? Because I don't think I could teach you how to do that. But it's super easy. You just, you don't two strand twist. You just twist your hair, twist, 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 twist. And then just twist, begin to twist the base on each other and just twist it and have the hair go around, around, but at the bottom, and then it'll start creating this little mound here. And that's basically how you do it. If I can explain it any, any kind of way, that's the best way I can explain it to you. But um, yeah, so basically I put two at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five going around my crown. And then in my crown, I did three this time. Normally I do like four in my crown, four around my crown and two at the bottom but um when I do that I notice that I get more frizz and less definition so I just kind of made them a little bit um smaller around the crown so hopefully that helps me with the definition but I love doing this look um with my hair especially after I flat ironed it and my hair because I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to flat ironing I think I don't use enough heat or something because every time I flat iron my hair, it's always just kind of like frizzy, not frizzy, but yeah, frizzy. Like it doesn't lay flat and I don't know what that is because I don't use a lot of, well, obviously I don't use a lot of chemicals, but I really think it's that I'm not using enough heat. I think I'm going to try to bump it up. I usually use six, no, I'm six, Lord have mercy, I wouldn't have no hair. I usually use, um... 365 I really don't think that's enough heat so I'm gonna try next time I flat iron to use um 400 so that should help me out you know I like to blend my foundation make sure it's pressed into the skin really really well um I should have probably done that part off camera because who cares but anyway <laughs> We're going to go into concealer. I'm using my ColourPop here just a little bit. It doesn't look like a little bit, but I promise you it is. As you can see, I haven't dunked my wand back in, so it's a little bit. Just one dunk. And this is what I love about my ColourPop concealer. Like one dunk does it, man. It does it. I don't have to keep going back in, you know. Oh my gosh, let me guys let me tell you guys something. After 65 years, well, not 65 years because I wasn't born when she was born, but my mom is 65 yesterday and I called her today. Don't tell nobody. I thought today was the fourth. 
<laughs> what today was the fourth? I don't know what the hell I thought yesterday was, but all this time I'm thinking, okay, Tuesday the fourth is my mom's birthday. So I didn't even realize that yesterday was the fourth. So I didn't call her, but I called, I was like, I have my kids singing happy birthday and everything. And she's like, today yesterday was my birthday. I was like, oh my God. It's the first time I've ever missed my mom's birthday. So we're gonna go see her later on today um, after work and school, me and my hubby and the kids, and um, give her her gift and stuff. So, you know, better late than never. That was my bad. I'm a bad daughter, y'all. Am I a bad daughter? Don't call me a bad daughter. I'm a good daughter. <laughs> Just not today. <laughs> All right, so we got the concealer in here. And we're gonna get our powder. I use the Cody Airspun powder, as you've seen in all of my videos. We want this look to look really natural, so we're not going to, um, put on too much bake it looks like a lot for some reason my camera but it's really not like over here I do have a little bit extra but yeah so and right now the palette that I really enjoy using to do natural looks is the Greek goddess by um, Lunar Beauty. I'm gonna do first, so I'm gonna powder my face. Sorry, I think I'm bouncing you guys around. I apologize. Um, but I'm gonna powder, 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 powder. Okay. All right. Now that that's done, I'm going to do a tiny, like a little bronzing. Okay. Just a little bit of bronzing. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Like to the point where you're not going to be able to see it on camera. But in person, ish there, ish there in person. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go into the eyeshadow. Really quick look. Love this palette, it's so pretty. Really, really quick, really quick, really, really quick, like legit quick, okay. Gonna go into Artemis. This is this color right here. Artemis in the crease. And then I'm going to, with my finger, go into, who am I using? We're gonna use Hera this color right here on the fingers on the lid this is my favorite way to apply a shimmer metallic shadow I think it's to me you get the best color payoff you don't need to wet your brush you don't need to you know do all that drama all that jazz You get good color payoff. And you can concentrate it where you want it to be. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of that. Because I really just want a, a very natural, shimmery eye. And then I'm just going to go into the crease. Just a smidget. Just a smidget with this dark color, Calipope, 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 
I don't know what. These names were really Greek. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we're going to clean that up with our fluffy brush, the first brush that we used, just to clean it up and diffuse that color. Because we just want a little deepening of the crease, just that natural look. All right, a little bit of smudging of the dark color here on the bottom lash line. Just a little bit, nothing major. Okay, now make sure that we brush away our powder, the Cody Air Spun. Close this because we're good to go. I love a look like this for work, you know? Oh, I always do my blush, my my mascara. I try to do my mascara last because I feel like you should put your, your powder products on first. Put a little bit of blush. Little sun kissed look there. All right. Now we're gonna do highlight. Really natural. I promise. I promise it's gonna be natural. We're gonna lose Lila. This color right here. Um, in the Sahara brush blush palette by um who are these people again? Damn it. Who are they, you guys? Help me. Um, damn. What's the name of this? Juvia's Place. Sorry, it doesn't even say on the palette. That's so weird. Really weird. Very light. I mean, I'm taking a really light hand with this because I really want this to look natural. while I keep piling it on. But you can't see it, see? It's just really natural. Then I'm gonna do my inner corner with Lila. That's the only unnatural thing <laughs> that I like to do, okay? Um, now, for lips, I'm gonna go in with 19, I think it's 1993. No, that's on there. What color is this? Yeah. 1995 by Pat McGrath. I really need to buy the big one because I really enjoy this. But every time I purchase, I forget about it. But I love that color. And it does look a tiny bit light, but put a little bit of highlight on my upper lip. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. All right, now we're gonna do mascara. We're going to put our brow definer here. Even though it's a lash primer, I prefer to use it on my brows. And then we go into mascara which is the last thing for me now. <laughs> My eyelashes are so curly, right? So when I do 
mascara sometimes I get um I get mascara on the other side of my I mean on my lid on my eyelid what am I talking about I get mascara on my eyelid that's what I'm trying to say because they're so curly I wish there was like a backwards um lash curler and I know you could use them backwards but it's always like it always takes me so much time because it's awkward so I really wish somebody would create one that was backwards okay so we're done with that spray 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 All right, now we're gonna go into hair. Again, like I said, I do um, Bantu knots at night. Lately, that's what I've been doing. I have ha haven't done it like all the time, but lately that's what I've been doing here. And I really enjoyed it. And I think I'm gonna do it more often. Um, so here's one. This one's a little bit more fluffy than I'd like. I'd really like it to be a little bit tighter, but I guess it kind of unraveled a little bit when I was sleeping last night. And my hair is so fine that I have to kind of live with the fact that I have frizz. Because if I don't let it frizz up, it looks really flat and crazy. So I have to live with the frizz. And I like the frizz because it gives me volume. That's my volume. You know, I don't have really, I have thick hair, but it's very fine. I, I, but I'm not one of those girls that got lucky and have that really thick, juicy, those big, thick, juicy strands, like, you know, and their hair is so, like, it looks like it weighs a ton. Like, uh, Napshul 85, her hair is, like, so juicy. Oh, my goodness. Lucky girl. I just take my pick a little bit and, um, because, you know, there was a part there in the middle. So I just take my pick a little bit and, um, you know, merge that part. Then I go in again and I take out all the rest of them. Okay, okay. And I just separate them just like that. I should have took a before pick. This is what the hell I should have done. Okay. I'll pick it after I'm done um, taking them all out. But, and there's no rhyme or reason to taking them out. I just honestly kind of pull them out gently. <laughs> like the knots anyway. I'm going to show you when I get closer to the front. But, so I have one in the middle back right here. And it's really important to, if you're doing like a, um, what is it called? A, a a braid out or a bantu knot out or whatever the case may be and you're doing it for yourself just be careful with having everything like bantu knot outs bantu knots or braids on either side of your head because i know our natural instinct is to braid like this or bantu like this or whatever but you have to be careful with that because then you'll have this big gap in the middle so i always purposely um, like part my hair like on each side right here and use this part of my hair to create a bantu knot so that, you know, I'm not having this big gap that I need to try to force fix, you know. And I have a lot of gray, if you can tell. Oh my gosh. I've had gray since I was like 16 years old. Not this much. I definitely have gotten more I've developed more since I've gotten a little older, but um, I definitely have had like this gray streak I've had since I was 17. Seems to have gotten bigger, but um, see, this is what it should look like when you bantu knot and you take it out the next day. It's definitely gotten bigger and I definitely have more gray. Like I've had gray, but my head, like how I have all this gray all around, I've had that since my early 20s like and I say I say that I think that I've had it like that because I have I have had kids since I was really young so I always think like these kids give me all these gray hair <laughs> and I talk like I got like 12 kids but 
I legit only have three children, but I had my first daughter really, really young. So um, that is the reason. This is just old gel that I used yesterday on my edges. Normally I just, um, it's really easy. I just kind of get it out with my fingers without a problem. So then we're gonna do the top here. And I'm not breaking, I know it looks like I'm being super rough, but I'm not breaking my hair at all. And this Bantu knot, normally I make this too, but I was so tired. I was doing this at 2 a.m., girl. So I was I was just done with hair, life at 2 a.m. I just wanted to sleep, okay? So yeah, so you see how like my hair is so gappy because it's so fine. <laughs> it's so fine. So let's see here. And it took me a while to figure out how to really do like a good Bantu knot. You know, it took a while. See, and that didn't break. It looked like it was, you know, a little bit rough, but it didn't break. My hair is not breaking. It's just. And I get very minimal shedding every day, like, because I do this every day. And when I tell you I get minimal shedding every day, very minimal shedding. And I think it's because I keep my hair, I keep it like this and I do it every day. So I keep it very, um, I don't have to do it every day. I could definitely pineapple it, but I kind of want it to look fresh. So that's why I do it every day. So what we're going to do now is pick and create more frizz than what we already have. So I go into the root and I do not come all the way out, okay? I just, I'm sure you've seen this before, um, but I just go to the root and I pick up and I do not, I do not um, go all the way out. I don't pull my pick all the way out. I do this. Ooh. Gel, go away, go away, gel, go away, go away. I normally do the back in a mirror and I can't do that right now. So I'm just going to show you for now, like how I get the volume in the front for now. I'm going to also pick the back, but I'm just saying I won't display the back because I'm pretty sure it's all jacked up. It needs to be picked out a little bit more, but I can feel a gap right here. And what I do is I just put the pick in and pull it out. And it doesn't feel rough, like I'm breaking anything because again, my hair is stretched and I do this every day. So, you know, there's really almost like no breakage in my hair, which I pay close attention to because um, I don't want the breakage. I really don't want the breakage. So this is how I get volume on such a, on, on very fine, natural hair. And if I want more volume than this, you know what I do? I wear a wash and go. <laughs> I wear a wash and go because my hair is in the most fluffiest. Um, I feel like that piece was just too perfect. <laughs> I like my hair to look unperfect. I don't like my hair to look, um, you know, perfectly def defined. I like my hair to be kind of messy defined, like almost like a bird's nest. <laughs> I'm sorry if I like my hair to look like a bird's nest. <laughs> That's sad, right? But I guess I don't mean a literal bird's nest. I just mean, you know, just not perfect, like. If I had a flatter texture, I would say I like my hair to look tousled, you know, like as tousled as a natural girl's hair can be. But yeah, this is all I do every single morning. Every single, if I want bangs, I take a hairpin and I create like that. Like I could, I don't need a hairpin. It'll stay down. And through the day, my hair would actually fall even more. So my bang will be like this through the day. And I'm like, 
<laughs> all through the day. So yeah, this is it. If you have fine natural hair, let me know how you create volume below. Let me know if you get frizz. Um, you do not have to, you know, live with flat hair just because you want to get that look, that, that, you know, that very defined look that a lot of girls with the very thick hair can get and it still be voluminous. Like, you know, we just can't do that. So we have to settle for some frizz, some frizz, some defined pieces and a little bit of frizz. So, you know, you let me know. Do you like it? Do you have the same results? Is there a trick that you use to make your hair voluminous? If you have very fine natural hair, you let me know below and I would be happy to take your advice. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you like this little, I want to I would call this a tutorial, you know, natural makeup, um, natural hair tutorial. <laughs> but let me go straighten out the back of my hair because I know she need to be straightened out. And thank you so much for sticking in there with me. Uh, click subscribe if you're new. Welcome if you're new. Like, share, all that good stuff. And you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.